Today I'm going to review buildyoursite.com's website builder and my initial impressions are that you know it looks like a pretty promising tool it's kind of nice because they have a slightly different layout than like so many of them that I've reviewed lately um, they're actually using a color instead of just white <laughs> I like white but I've seen a lot of this like the same exact layout with a lot of the website builders and what's good for the user here is that you know you can speak to a live person they are emphasizing that they've got 4,000 designs to choose from they let you know you can get away with basically 10 bucks a month they do have um, a live support system so that's really great from here without clicking around right now I can I can guess that I can find out um, I can see some design examples I've got pricing probably you know broken down right here testimonials so you know there's a lot of things to make me feel confident right off the bat that this is a well thought out tool um, they tell you you can get a website in just 10 minutes you know what honestly most website builders are making some claim five minutes ten minutes something like that but in reality this is going to be an investment in time no matter how simple the website builder so just a heads up on that kind of ignore that part um, but overall, you know, yeah, it, it looks very promising uh, right off the bat. Now, another thing that I look at is, is the website builder an industry-specific tool, meaning, you know, we just cater to real estate agents or something like that, and so we have special tools for that particular industry, and this does not. They do have their uh, designs broken down by industry, um, and you have some you know some some cues in there that work for that particular industry right off the bat but you can customize any theme to um, any business that you would like so it's not industry specific and that's pretty normal their pricing starts at 9.95 a month so think ten dollars and you can go up to 25 a month which is you know gonna get you some e-commerce in there which is exciting to do for that amount I don't know how that all works but usually when they include e-commerce they're gonna help you either get a, a website merchant or they just you know set it up in such a way that you don't have to deal with that so I don't know how that process works and this is not something I'm looking heavily into with this initial phase of website building reviews but I'm gonna look at these two um, tiers the most and the thing about it that's it, a little a bit of a letdown you only have 10 pages and if you're going to really work your website you're going to need more than 10 because if you're blogging and that kind of thing it's easily going to add up to more than 10 um, if you're actually working your site however 10 if you're not going to be working your site is a decent amount to start with so you know it depends on where you're going with that now the thing that I think everybody should be able to do is have some SEO abilities and I'm not clear I'm going with they don't let that base starter package um, do its own SEO um, search terms and stuff because here it says create effective well you can see it create effective keywords and submit to over 172 search engines so the way it's worded I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to do that for that starter package I mean, and I, this the submitting part I can live without that for the base but I want to know that I can put in my own title tag and my own um, keywords and meta meta keywords meta descriptions and and that sort of thing even with the base one I think everyone should be able to do that so to me I think they're saying you cannot and that that I don't like maybe that's incorrect but they should be clear about that if if it um, if it isn't that way if, if the base one could put in their own meta I get it you know if you're gonna allow a submission tool you know you might want to make that a premium feature and I wouldn't have an issue with that being a separator or a, con a consultant helping you as a separator but the overall ability just to be able to do that on your own to put in your own search you know your own description that kind of thing I think should be with every single tier so I'm a little let down right there but the pricing is good um, even at $17 a month and you have up to 50 pages there which now you're talking you're getting a little bit further um, into something that someone could actually really work with for true online marketing that's not bad um, mobile now what I did is I went to their um, their design gallery 
and looked at their designs and they're basic, they're clean, there's nothing amazing in them but they could probably be customized in, in a lot of different ways and made to look much more than they are to start out with. You know sometimes those basic templates are really the best to work with so that's, that's good. I mean you get to see them, that kind of thing. Um, they don't say anything about mobile ability or responsive and there's many website builders out there that like that's one of the very first things they point out so it kind of makes me think that that's not an option here and the the other thing is it doesn't say in the features the last thing that sells me on the idea that they do not have a mobile ability or responsive ability is when you go to the testimonials which are really cool because you do have um, you can know, check our reviews on Trustpilot you also have um, you know these well here in this browser I'm in Chrome if that's interesting okay so in a different browser these <laughs> these just show up maybe it just took a moment to load I don't know anyway they are um, audio uh, testimonials and in the audio testimonial they tell you what their domain name is or at least these first two do because that's what I listen to I went to this guy's domain and unless I'm hearing him incorrectly or he has it spelled a different way this one is no longer working however hers is and I went to manindesigns.com and uh, found a nice little website there however it's not mobile you know like it's not a different version when you look at it on your site uh, on your phone it's not a different version and it's also not responsive so and um, by the way there's also no blog mentioned anywhere and I didn't see it when I went to her site um, I also saw that she, it didn't look like her site had you know custom custom SEO terms so it just kind of backs up my thinking about whether they offer that or not for what looks like a basic website um, so I'm saying they don't have mobile. I'm also saying they don't have blogging, which is not cool in my book because that is definitely a key part of, you know, um, creating an article base is a key part of of really um, marketing your site. So um, as far as other SEO features, they do have their own stats package and they say in their FAQs that they support Google Analytics so that's a wonderful thing um, ease of use the cool part is they have this live demo here and you can see the URL here you can probably also get to it just off of t take a test drive um, so you know you can choose the design you want and then from there um, you click update and um, I'm going to apply without preview and it's probably going to take me right back into this tool. Here we go. And um, you know, you see here that if I, you're actually using it, it's going to walk you through. It's got movies and, and here to walk you through different ways of using the tool. Um, just without using any of the tools, which is kind of how I like to judge things, like how intuitive is it? You know, you think about the, like the Apple devices and I realize not everybody's a Mac fan, but the Apple devices, you don't necessarily need a manual to get started. To me, that's really good usability. And here, you know, I'm, I'm looking at things, you know, if I click, I get a little wrench to tell me something's going on and then I get clicked to edit. I can see I can edit, move, delete. However, this move thing it's not a drag and drop and that's a little fuzzy on how to use it like if I click move here then it wants you to, so it if I click this green then I'm gonna get clients over here is what I'm assuming and then services so there's very specific regions that you can move things into with this tool it's not a pure drag and drop add whatever you want kind of thing so they're controlling areas which probably helps to control the integrity of the design but uh, overall it's pretty intuitive not the end of the world so um, you know good for you there um, you can use your own URL um, overall it, it looks like it's an okay tool though for me to think it's an outstanding tool I really want to see a blogging feature I really want to know that you can do your own SEO keywords and and SEO descriptions and your own page titles for every single page and I don't you know know that I can do that hold on let's let's check one more place shall we we've got this ooh maybe maybe oh look at this search engine optimization okay so there you go we've got this now can you do this with the base package I don't know um, but that's really nice so you know what I'm gonna go ahead and give them that you can do it because it is right here um, 
and it's not saying that you have to have a, a higher end account for that so I'm gonna give them that they can do that now beyond that um, you know with the new page because that was something I hadn't clicked before yeah there's nothing here oh look at this there's a mobile thingamajig so there's some sort of mobile feature here however I don't know what <laughs> what it does and it doesn't tell me anything about it anywhere so I'm not going to give them that one simply because I really I I you would have to tell me that how that works on here for me to buy into that so search engine optimization I'm going to give them that there is no blog and those are things that I would like to see added to the tool um, let me check one more thing and text and image image gallery requires plan B package so they do have some sort of blog thing but they don't really talk a lot about it and it, you're not going to get it um, it's available for free during the trial so you're not going to get that with that base package and you know that's a, that's a bit of a letdown so okay so partial points for that um, I'd like to know more about it I'd like to see it advertised um, on their home page the only way I know that they have some SEO here and, and really that's awesome and that that blog thing is there is really once I actually got into their test drive which I'm not doing for most of these reviews so they're gonna get some points for me for that that most wouldn't just because I decided at the last moment to look around that is something you need to talk about in your features and be clear about what it is that people get and I'm still sketchy on on this whole like what SEO do we really get for this so you know I think they need to work on that the intuitiveness of the tool though does look really nice um, I have seen more flexibility with some other tools than this but it still looks pretty straightforward to use so I think all in all it's an okay tool though really I would like more with that base package than they're actually giving you and um, I would like uh, to see like the blogging thing and a few more pages for the base package and I mean because if you're a serious blogger you know you're gonna need more than even 50 pages I think they should upgrade that but yeah um, now that I've dug around a little bit more with their test drive I feel even better about it so you know it's, it's probably not gonna get the highest score out there but it's definitely way better than a lot of the other tools I've seen